During Wednesday's press briefing, Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre was asked about Biden's comments during a Tuesday night speech where he outlined the Safer America plan. During the speech, Biden condemned threats and attacks against the FBI and law enforcement following the raid of former President Donald Trump's Mar-a-Lago home. Biden also called out GOP lawmakers for encouraging some of the threats with their rhetoric, such as Senator Lindsey Graham, who said there will be riots in the streets if Trump is prosecuted. Jean-Pierre refused to comment on whether Biden plans to talk to these lawmakers directly to tell them to cut it out. Just back to yesterday's speech from the president, um, he obviously was critical of some senior lawmakers, he said, for saying things to the effect of, if such and such happens, there will be blood in the street. Uh, he was obviously also very clear that any threats, uh, attacks on the FBI, law enforcement agents, uh, that those were not acceptable. Uh, given all of that, I'm just wondering whether the president would be open to uh, having direct conversations with some senior lawmakers, some of whom he has known for many years, to tell them to cut it out. So I don't have any calls to preview or any conversation um, on this specific specific subject. As you know, we try to keep our conversations with lawmakers uh, private, uh, and uh, so nothing there uh, to, to preview or to, to add. Uh, look, you know, we have been long uh, been clear uh, that when the Department of Justice independence, uh, sorry, that the Department of Justice and the FBI, um, you know, as I just said, said, like, we need to we need to not attack our brave men and women who uh, protect uh, our country and who protect our communities. Uh, and you just heard me lay down uh, what funding this president has put forward uh, and has announced and to, to do just that. So, you know, the president was just re-emphasizing re that violence or threats of violence has absolutely no place, no place in our society, uh, which we should all agree on, regardless of the point of view. It doesn't matter if you, which side of the aisle that you're sitting on, uh, we need to denounce that. And so when you are inciting violence or when you are uh, making comments, uh, the way that we've heard over the weekend for some, from some leadership and some members, uh, uh, members in elected office, uh, that's a dangerous thing, and the president's not going to shy away uh, from calling out, uh, calling out those types of comments. I guess just without previewing specific conversations that <coughs> may have happened or could happen in the future, you know, if he believes this kind of rhetoric is potentially harmful or dangerous to law enforcement. You know, does he feel that he has a responsibility to do everything he can? Actually, I think he made that very clear yesterday uh, by, for example, again, reaching out to some of these members directly and having that conversation with them. Look, MJ, I hear your question, but all you have to do is turn on the TV and hear from the president directly on how he feels uh, about what he's hearing. And he's been very clear about that. And again, he's not going to shy away. He believes, and I have said this a couple of times at this podium at this point, is as president, uh, he has the obligation uh, to speak out uh, against threats against our democracy, against violence. Uh, it is uh, he, he believes as president, you have the you have the strongest platform, if you will, the strongest voice, and that's what he's going to continue to do. Again, he's not going to step away from it. He's not going to shy away from that. I think uh, any of those uh, legislators or any of those elected officials. All they have to do, I'm sure they have seen the clip over and over again from your network and others about what the president has said yesterday and how forceful he was, how passionate he was, and that's just, that is going to continue. And one last way. Just given that, you know, you all have billed it as uh, being related to the battle for the soul of America, which is something that he obviously ran on back in 2020, um, the threats to democracy that he obviously saw as being very real two, three years ago, does he believe that those forces are very much still at large now, or does he believe that there has been some progress since he came into office? Look, he believes that it continues. He believes that we need to continue to fight uh, for our democracy. Uh, and he's been very clear. You look at the extreme uh, wing of a, of a party, the MAGA Republicans, uh, it's not stopping. It is continuing. Uh, and we heard it over the weekend as you're asking me about the president uh, talking directly with legislators. And this is, uh, this is an important time. And he is, again, he's not going to shy away from it. 
Uh, he's going to continue to lift that up and what he sees and what he's going to call out. Uh, and, um, and, you know, he believes that there are a majority of Americans who disagree with that, who disagree on the attack of our core values as a country. And uh, he's going to speak directly to them uh, tomorrow. That's what you're going to hear.